Check, 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 check. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wrestlers, fans of all ages, thank you for joining us. And welcome once again to Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. We're at the Jubilation Recreation or Jubilee Recreation Center. We've got game three for the Wainwright Wrestlers in the Hockey Alberta Senior AA Provincial Championships. The wrestlers will be taking on the host team, the Fort Saskatchewan Chiefs. Who are 2 0 to start the tournament and have already locked in their place in the gold medal game tomorrow afternoon? We'll be bringing you all the hockey action all evening tonight, but first we're going to listen to the singing of O Canada to get things started for tonight. And we're ready to go here. As mentioned before, the Chiefs are 2-0. Their place is locked in for the gold medal game tomorrow. They're going to be playing the Lacombe Generals. The wrestlers 0-2 to start the tournament. They're going to be in the bronze medal game at 11 a.m. tomorrow. They will be playing the Camrose Crush, who they faced in the opening game of this tournament, having lost 11-7 in a crazy one. Some changes here tonight as we got a new goaltender in for the wrestlers. Dolan Watt, the rookie goalie, is going to draw the start tonight, giving Tommy Eisman a break to get ready for the Browns Middle game tomorrow. Watt played just one game with the wrestlers this year. It came in the playoffs against the Two Hills Longhorns on February 19th. He gave up two goals on 17 shots, but earned his first Sask Alpha win. In an 11-2 victory for the wrestlers in that one. We got Fister out there to take the draw. He wins it over to Casey Berg, who sends it in deep. Ackroyd and Leggett on the forecheck, and the wrestlers are able to keep it in the zone. Long shot gets tipped way up in the air. Loose puck down by the net. And Fort Sass trying to get out of the zone. They do eventually clear it. But they can't connect on their pass. We got an icing call here. The Fort Saskatchewan Chiefs play in the North Central Senior Hockey League. As do the Lacombe Generals and the Camros Crush. It's a bit of a North Central Hockey League provincial tournament here with the wrestlers just tagging along. Chiefs went 6-7-0-1 in the regular season. They've been dominant so far this weekend, winning 5-3 the first night against Lacombe. And then yesterday, beating the Camrose Crush 
Lishka with the puck in his own end. Now he can't find it in his feet. It eventually comes back to him, though. He's going to try to work up the boards, but he's getting tied up there. Now the Chiefs skated out in front. Makai with a shot block. The wrestler is able to clear the zone. Going to go for a line change here, all but Lishka. Now the Chiefs come up ice. They send it out to the left wing. They got a little speed coming into the zone. They slam on the brakes right at the goal line. They try to get it up to the point. Loose puck comes right to the right side of the goal with a quick shot on net. But Dolan's there to make his first save of the night. Let picks up the puck in the corner. He was trying to send one to Dicker, but Dicker wasn't moving. It results in an icing call. Been a long weekend for both these teams so far. A lot of hockey in a short amount of time. And maybe just a little bit of partying in between. So we'll see how well everybody's legs hold up today. Chiefs clear the zone, but the wrestlers pick it up in the neutral zone. They quickly turn it back over, though. And of course, Saskatchewan does the same thing. Chiefs go well offside, and that's going to be a quick whistle. Chiefs win the draw there. They dump it into the wrestler's end, but Crossland's there to pick it up. Sends it to Drew Marchand. Just goes up the boards to Hamilton, and he'll just whack it out of the zone. And the Chiefs almost had a golden opportunity there. He nearly sprung a man for a breakaway, but he couldn't hold on to the pass and ended up going offside. They force a turnover. Puck comes right down in front of the wrestler's net, but three wrestler's players converge on that and get it away. Shot from the point goes wide. Now Fister plays it off the boards to Ackroyd. He'll get to center ice and just dump it in, but he gets dumped in the meantime. He jumps right back up on his feet. Chiefs come flying down the left wing. Bad angle shot goes wide of the goal. It comes up to the point. Shot attempt is deflected wide. The wrestlers cleared the zone once again. The wrestlers now have an opportunity here. It's going to be Lishka and Makai in a two on one. Sorry, Soretsky. Let's go to Soretsky. Soretsky took the shot. Rebound came right to the Chiefs. They eventually worked all the way into the wrestling zone. We got some rough stuff in the corner. Berg playing physical. And the wrestlers come away with the puck. It's McCluskey at center ice. He'll dump it in. Let Soretsky chase it down. He nearly forces a turnover in the corner. But the Chiefs are able to come away with it. Now they come in the high slot. Hard shot saved by Watt, and he covers it up for a faceoff. Great job by the rookie early on in this one. Just over four and a half minutes expired in the first period. Still a scoreless hockey game. Now Mullet, at his own blue line, sends a pass up ice to Dicker, but that's out of his reach once again.
Latcher forces a turnover in his own end. He's going to fly up the left wing and eventually just dump it. Dicker picks it up right at the Fort Sass blue line. Can't do anything with it. Goslin forces a turnover. That pass to Dicker just bounced under his stick. Now Goslin at center ice. He dumps it in. McCluskey on the forecheck. Chiefs have nowhere to go with it. The wrestlers with a lot of pressure. The fourth Sask eventually comes away with it. Now they cross the blue line heading into the offensive end. That pass well behind. And the wrestlers get control. The pass to Hamilton was over his stick. And that one goes for another icing call. Plusky, Hamilton, and Woodward out there. Gosselin and Drew Marchand as the D pair. Nice little move by Hamilton to evade the defender, but then his pass gets picked off right after. Marchand's going to hustle back in behind his own net to collect the puck. Rings it around the boards. The Chiefs able to keep it in. They get it down low once again. Long shot from the right point. Swallowed up by Watt, no problem. He's definitely held his own early on in this one. In his first game action since nearly two months ago. Leggett plays it off the boards, tries to chase it down himself. Can't get there in time. We have got Ackroyd flying all around the ice in this shift. Playing physical, getting under everybody's skin. Fister picks up the puck. He has to make a quick play and sidestep a hit. Now the wrestlers pick off a pass in the neutral zone, but they had a man offside, so McCluskey had to hold up. And the Chiefs are able to come away with the puck. They cross the blue line, centering pass to the slot. They try to go to the back post on a backhand pass, but it got tipped up in the air. Now Berg chases it behind his own net. He loses it in his feet a little bit, eventually finds it. And the puck finds its way on, onto Soretsky's stick. He comes up the left wing, puts a hard wrist shot towards the net, but it gets knocked down almost right away. Puck comes up to the point to Berg. His long wrist shot. Goalie didn't seem to know where that one was, but he saved it anyway. The rebound goes into the corner. Now Berg picks off another pass. But he gets knocked off his stick. Chiefs came flying into the zone there. They're looking like they had numbers until they lost control of the puck. Now Mullet dumps it in right on goal. That one's going to be covered up for a draw. Still scoreless in this one. Just over eight minutes gone. It's a scrum draw. The Chiefs eventually come away with it. They get it out of the zone. Work it in all the way down the ice. They go pass right, center pass right in front of the net. Doesn't find anybody. They got a battle behind the net. Dicker throws a good hit in the corner, which allows Goslin to come away with the puck. He lumbers through the neutral zone, puts a hard shot on net. It's redirected into the corner. Now the wrestlers with some forecheck pressure. And Woodward picks it off. He can't control it, though. But Mackay scoops up the loose puck at his own blue line. He skates himself down in the corner. 
Puts it right in front of the net to Hamilton at a gorgeous scoring opportunity, but he can't beat the goaltender. We get a whistle here as the wrestlers have the best scoring opportunity of the night so far. Chiefs win the draw. Woodward hustles to the corner and gets there first, though. And we got it pinned up against the board. It's Woodward and Saretsky there. A little help from Casey Berg. He does a great job to keep the puck in the zone after it squirted out from the pile. But now Fort Sask able to clear the zone. Kai just dumps that one down low. Rusters get one or two fresh bodies out there. Chiefs come streaking right through the middle of the ice. They cut over to the right wing. Bad angle shot is saved by Watt. Second opportunity saved as well. We got a penalty coming. Looks like it's going to be on Wainwright. It's going to be a hooking call. On Morgan Mackay. The wrestlers will go on the penalty kill for the first time tonight. Plusky wins the draw. Let loses it in the corner, though. Now Fort Sass tries to set something up. They got it on the left point. Sent it to the right side. A hard shot beats Watt. McGuy barely had time to catch his breath in the penalty box, and he's back out there. No icing the call on that dump attempt as Ulet had tipped it. Now the wrestlers are battling for it in the corner. It's three wrestlers to one Chiefs, and they do come away with it. Dicker tries to chase down there on the other side. He can't get there in time. Ulet flips it out of the zone, but it hits the ceiling. And we're going to get a face off here. Russell's win the draw and spring Soretsky real quick and he almost had a breakaway. He split the defenders, then lost control of the puck a little bit. He does end up chasing it down. He's got it pinned up behind the net against the boards. He almost comes away with it. He's still battling in there. Marchand comes in to help. Before Sask able to clear it, now they're coming down the right wing. Dawson got his stick on the shot, which tipped it up into the glass. Now he picks it up in the neutral zone, crosses the blue line, and the wrestlers just barely go offside. Russell's win the draw. Casey Berg dumps it in. Now the Chiefs come down the right wing. They got a step on Casey Berg. He goes to the back end, sneaks it through the five hole of plot, and it's a two nothing hockey game. Thank you. 
The wrestlers now gain control momentarily in the neutral zone. The Chiefs take over here. They look for the backdoor pass. It doesn't connect. The wrestlers can't clear the zone. Leggett eventually gets it past the Chiefs defenseman. Fister comes down the left wing and just dumps it in low. Chiefs now behind their own net. With some great pressure from Hamilton and Woodward force a turnover. It looked like Hamilton got hooked, but no call on that one. And now the Chiefs have it in the wrestler's zone. They do just get it outside the blue line. Now the wrestlers might have an opportunity. It's Woodward, Soretsky, and Hamilton. They came into the zone with numbers, but the Chiefs quickly back-checked. That puck just comes outside the blue line. It's going to be an offside call. Wainwright wins the draw. But the Chiefs gain control in the neutral zone. They come in, put a hard shot on Watt. He's able to hold on to that one. Had to look over his shoulder to make sure he had it. But he got all of that one and held on for the faceoff. We got seven and a half minutes to go in this one. It's a two nothing deficit. The Wainwright wrestlers. Port Sask won the draw, put a long shot on net. Watt with another save. And Wainwright clears his own. Now Mackay in the neutral zone picks up a loose puck. He's got it back once again. Sends it over to Casey Bird. He'll just dump it. Dicker on the chase. Along with Mullet. Mullet throws a bit of a high hit. And he's going to the box for that one. Might be an elbow. Some of the Chiefs players not too happy about that one. It's going to be a hit to the head. Which I imagine is a double minor. Uh, it's just going to be a two-minute penalty here. Your penalty killers are Derek Fister, Cole Ackroyd, Casey Berg, and Morgan Mackay. Try to do their part to uh, keep this penalty kill to a little longer than the 13 seconds it was last time. Watt makes a save on the shot from the point. Uh, you got two and a ten. That's the situation. So Mullet will be hanging out in the penalty box for a while. Chiefs win the draw. We'll work it up to the point. All the way across the ice. The guy gets a stick in the passing lane and gets it out of the zone. Kill more time on the minor penalty here. Chiefs with a hard shot. Watt gets his blocker on it. It pops up right in front of him. We tried to scoop it up, but couldn't get a glove there in time. And the Chiefs regain possession. Hard shot from the point is kicked away by Watt. Hard shot from point blank range. Watt gets in the way, can't hold on for a faceoff. Rebound ended up on a Wainwright stick and they cleared the zone. Everybody's going for a line change now. The Chiefs come flying in and a little flutter puck just beat Watt. That one was up on end and it just kind of floated in there. Watt was looking for the hard shot. Just got tricked on that one. It's 3 nothing now. Chiefs win the draw center ice. Come through the neutral zone down the left wing with some speed. 
And Ulette throws a massive hit in behind the net. Rosters can't get the puck back, though, as the Chiefs are pressing. Battle in the corner here. Let down there with no stick, just pushing guys around. Bird comes away with the puck. Flips it up and out of the zone. It's going to go all the way for icing, though. And Woodward, who is halfway through a change, is going to have to come back out and let as well. Lusky wins the draw, but the Chiefs get on it quickly. Puck comes loose right in front of the Wainwright goal. They clear it from danger, but can't clear the zone. Chiefs step out from behind the net. Pulling right to the left faceoff dot. Roulette knocks it out of the air. Tries to get it to Hamilton, but that's out of his reach. And the wrestlers now get that line change completed that they were in the midst of a second ago. Bit of a pile up in the crease now. Oh, we got some some aggression down there in the crease. Somebody who is none too pleased with Mr. Josh Burke, but that tends to be the case. Fletcher in for the draw now. He's playing alongside Lishka and Dicker. Chiefs win it. Long shot from the right point. Swallowed up once again by Dolan Watt. We got another faceoff here. The kids look good. He may have given up three goals, but he's seen 16 shots so far and this looks fairly sharp. That shot's tipped up way over the net. Dawson comes in. Almost looked to get a Another check to the head there, but he got away with it. Lishka in the right place at the right time picks off a pass. He sends it to Dicker on the left side. They cross the blue line. Dicker with a nice move and a good shot, but the goalie gets a piece of it. Steers it up over the net. Now from the left wing, Lishka. He sends it down low. Dicker's there in the corner. Back up to Lishka. Now to Berg at the point. The puck nearly comes out, but stays in the zone. Makai puts a long turn, like spin around wrist shot on the net. And a rustler got dumped down there. Looks like Dicker got upended. He's slow to get up. And he's going to come straight to the bench. Fister throwing a hit in the corner. Allows Makai to come away with the puck. He'll leave it up along the boards to Ackroyd, but his stick gets tied up and he can't get a hold of the puck. Now the Chiefs enter the zone. Send a puck to the front of the net looking for a deflection, but Watt makes a save. That long shot goes wide, and now Leggett's going to get it along the boards. He'll send it up the boards, trying to get it to Fister, but the Chiefs get there first. Makai now behind his net. The wrestlers having a hard time getting through the neutral zone right now. The Chiefs come right back. Watt with another good save. We'll hold on for another face off. Two minutes, 50 seconds left in this opening period. Shots are 17 to 5 in favor of Fort Sass. Sreski comes in and wins the draw. Wainwright not able to get out of the zone. They almost caught a break there, but couldn't get a hold of the bouncing puck at the blue line. And now the Chiefs from the high slot. Good shot right on goal, but Watt steers that one wide. Send a pass down low, and they're looking for another backdoor pass, but 
Saratsky was in the way. He gets it to Hamilton. He's going to chase it down all the way into the corner. Chiefs try to clear the zone, but Bird keeps it in. His shot's blocked. Rustler send it down the ice, and that's going to be an icing as it goes. Or no ice. Linesman had his hand in the air, changed his mind. Now Roulette picks it up in his own zone. He flips it up to Fletcher. The Chiefs get it in the neutral zone. They're just going to dump it in. Roulette and Goslin are back deep in their own end. And now Dicker picks up the puck. Good to see him back out on the ice after he got upended last shift and looked pretty uncomfortable. Chiefs dump it in from center ice. Marchand's there to pick it up. Leggett tries to play it off the boards to Fister, but can't get it to him. As we reach the final minute of play in the first. Chiefs put a puck towards the net, but it hit about four skates before it got there, and then the wrestlers came away with it. Ackroyd with a sharp angle shot looking for a rebound. Ends up on Leggett's stick. The wrestlers can't make anything of it. Now the Chiefs down the right wing, all the way down deep into the corner. Berg picks off a centering pass. With 20 seconds left. Berg's carrying the puck through the neutral zone, but he's been out there a while. The guy's got it behind his own net with 10 seconds to go. Sends it to Woodward. The wrestler's just trying to get it out of the zone here and get out of the period. Liska dumps it, and that's going to do it for the first. 3 nothing for the Fort Saskatchewan Chiefs after 20 minutes. In this final round-robin game of the tournament. We got about a 15 minute intermission here. But we'll be back with you for the start of the second. Thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon.
Welcome back for the start of the second period, folks. We've got a 3 nothing hockey game after 20 minutes in favor of the Fort Saskatchewan Chiefs. As they look to go 3-0 and in the round robin on their way to the gold medal game tomorrow afternoon. The wrestlers will be playing in the bronze medal game tomorrow at 11 a.m. against the Camrose Crush. But they love to find a way to get a win in the round robin. We'll see if they can start to come back here early in the second. They won the opening draw. But they're battling for it in their own end right now. Josh Berg brings it around the boards. It's still in the corner. The Chiefs come away with it. They send it right down in front of the net, but it's tipped up and over the goal. Now the wrestlers get the puck. Lishka flips it out of the zone. Suresky catches it in midair. He carries it across the blue line, fires a hard shot. The rebound comes all the way out. Suretsky was coming down the right wing, but he couldn't get anything on it. Suretsky's centering pass gets knocked down. And the Chiefs collect the puck and get out of their own zone. Across the blue line, go the cross ice pass. And they get a backdoor pass. They couldn't tuck it into the open net. Now Suretsky coming through the neutral zone. He crosses the blue line. Looking for a teammate to pass to. He goes to the back door as well. And Fletcher was streaking down the left wing, but he couldn't get a stick on it. Loose puck in front of the net. It's cleared out of harm's way by Dicker. And now Fletcher comes flying down. And Ackroyd got shoved over the blue line at the last second, forcing him to go offside. Fletcher, Dicker, and Ackroyd out there now. Chiefs win the draw. Russell's going to turn over in the neutral zone, and Fletcher just dumps it in. Dicker on the four check. And Hamilton keeps it in the zone. Dicker goes, try to, tries to go back to Hamilton. Loose puck ends up coming back to him. He takes a shot that's blocked. The wrestlers dump it in from center ice. Hamilton still in the forecheck. The wrestlers keep it in the zone once again. Now Woodward comes in with pressure. The Chiefs are going to be able to clear it this time. He skated over the blue line down the left wing. Go across the ice looking for the one-timer, but they fanned on it. We got a high stick here. But that's negated as the Chiefs touch the puck first. Now Woodward through the neutral zone. Just able to get enough on that to dump it in. Wrestlers go for a full service change. The Chiefs put the puck right down into the crease. Looking for somebody to tap it in. But Watt makes the save, and now it's in the corner. we got a bit of a battle going there. Ackroyd comes away with it. He gets it to Leggett. The wrestlers almost get it out of the zone. It's pinned right up at the blue line. Chiefs are able to get it deep. Wainwright almost clears the zone. Defense makes a great play to keep it in. And now Wayne Aaron comes away with it. It's Makai coming down the left wing. He gets tied up. And the wrestlers lose possession. And it looks like we're going to get an offside call here. Three and a half minutes gone in the second period already. Kluski wins the draw. Roulette puts it right up the middle of the ice. Finds Soretsky. He gets it over towards Lishka. Lishka just whacks at it. Tries to get into the zone, but it goes up and into the netting instead. And we'll get another faceoff here. The 
Us was playing with a little more zip early on in the second period here. See if they can turn that into some scoring opportunities. The Chiefs carried into the zone. Good defensive play by Sereski to break up the pass. The wrestlers can't get possession. Pass comes right in front of the net. It gets knocked away. Another pass gets knocked away. And the force Saskatchewan pass back to the blue line, misses everyone, and comes all the way down the ice. Now Saretsky applies some pressure at the last second along the boards. And allows the wrestlers to keep the puck in the zone. But it was bouncing all over the place, and the Chiefs are able to come away with it. Awesome, with lots of patience. Out near center ice. He's able to get his wrestlers into the zone and he keeps it in there at the blue line. Now Saretsky's going to chase it down. He can't get there in time. So Marchand's there to scoop it up in the neutral zone, dump it down low. Long stretch pass gets tipped deep into the zone. The guy plays it off the boards. But the Chiefs quickly turn it back up the other way. They ring it all the way around the board. The board's hard. And then try to work it in behind the net. Dicker almost picked the defenseman's pocket at the blue line and sprung himself, but the Chiefs eventually able to get it down low, and then a shot attempt is tipped up into the netting. I'm going to slow things down here for a minute. With 14.26 left in this second period. Chiefs win the draw. They work it down the boards on the right side. Centering pass is picked off by Casey Berg, but he loses it. The Chiefs put a shot right on goal, but Watt's there to swallow that one up. Chiefs win the draw again. Long shot from the point goes wide. He tries centering pass right in front of the net, but it was whiffed on. Chiefs just dump it in. Josh Berg in his own end. Sends it to Hamilton, who got knocked down from behind. But McCluskey ends up coming away with the puck. He gets it to Woodward. Tries to get it back to McCluskey. That pass is deflected wide. The Chiefs come the other way with numbers. It's a three on two coming down the ice. And they take advantage of it. Beating Watt on the high glove side make this a 4 nothing hockey game. Wrestlers win the draw this time. Awesome, trying to go right through the middle to Fister. But it's turned over. Goslin doing all kinds of work in his own end. Picks off a pass, wheels it through the zone, and carries it through center ice. Gets it over to Fister on the left wing. But the Chiefs force a turnover. Now they got it at center ice. They work it out the right wing now. And we got a whistle. Seemed too late to be an offside. I'm not sure what the whistle was for. May have been offside though. 
Faceoff's coming outside the Wainwright blue line. Chiefs win the draw and send it down in the right corner. Dicker got run there. But he's okay. Russell's got a good shot there. And the wraparound attempt from Makai is thwarted. Now battle behind the net. Fletcher came away with it and tried to center it to the low slot, but Mullet was on the other side of the net. The Chiefs come down the other way, put a sharp angle shot on Watt. He steers it wide. They swing it all the way around the offensive zone. Down into the corner now. Long shot from the point was blocked, and then the second opportunity was sent wide. Chiefs keep it in the zone. Shot from the point goes wide again. And Dicker along the half boards. He's able to come away with it. He'll send it off the boards and chase it down himself. He's not able to come away with it, but he's got some teammates coming in to help now. The Chiefs still retain possession. That shot is deflected wide. Zulette chases it all the way around in the other corner. He'll flip it up. Saretsky who just gets it out of the defensive end. Lishka's there to pick it up at center ice. He leaves it for McCluskey. He puts a long shot on that and swallowed up for a faceoff. As we've got exactly 11 minutes remaining in the second period. Wainwright wins the draw. He tried to get it to the point, but he gets knocked out of his zone. Dawson with just a soft dump. Allows the Chiefs to regroup behind their own net. Organize a breakout as they work it through the neutral zone. We get it down deep. Oslin swings it around to Lishka and he just flips it out into the neutral zone trying to find a teammate. He leaves it there for Marchand. Sends it back to Goslin. Got a high stick here. And it's going to be whistled down. Mister comes in for the draw. And the Chiefs win it. Wayne are bringing tons of pressure and they force a turnover. Hamilton's got it in the corner. He swings behind the net. Sends, tries to send it to the point, but he whiffed on it. Woodward's going to collect it in the corner here. Send it around to the other side. Fister chases it down. He sends it down low to Woodward. Woodward from the left wing now. Puts it right in front of the net, but it goes off Hamilton skating up in the air. The Chiefs are able to gather it. And work it up ice. Dicker with a big hit there. And he gets whacked in the back of the leg. That is ridiculous. Dicker threw a big hit right in front of the penalty box. And the Force Saskatchewan captain wasn't too happy about getting hit, and he turned around and absolutely just two-handed Dicker. Right in the back of the knee. And now from the penalty box, as he's still a little pissy, smacks the glass with a stick. And he quickly gets handed an unsportsmanlike penalty.
Not the classiest of expressions from the captain. But it gives the wrestlers a power play. Dicker looked to skate off the ice just fine. He looks no worse for the wear after getting a baseball bat to the back of the knee. Wrestlers win the draw. Lishka almost got a shot off right off the face off. But he got a stick tied up. And the Chiefs are able to clear it all the way down the ice. Wainwright breaks out of their own end. McCluskey gets it to Sharetsky. He steps past the defender, slams on the brakes, sends it back up to the point to Mackay. Now to Sharetsky at the half wall. Back up to Mackay. Over to Berg. Mackay at the top of the point. Now Sharetsky is looking for the one-timer. The pass is just too much out, too far out of his reach. I'm going to leave it there for McCluskey. As they trade places. McCluskey slowly steps out in front of the net. His puck gets knocked off his stick. The Chiefs come the other way. Mackay behind his own net. Leaves it there for Hamilton. Sends a quick pass up to Fister. Pass comes back to Hamilton and he shoots. He scores! Kelvin Hamilton buries one on the power play on a beautiful pass and play. The wrestlers get themselves on the board. It's 4-1 in the second period. Wrestlers now trying to take advantage of some momentum. They win the opening, or not the opening draw. They win the faceoff. Send it down low. Can't keep it in the zone, though. And Goslin has to hustle back. Chiefs. Go offside there. We're going to slow things down again for a second. Seven forty-five to go in the second period. Wrestlers trying to claw their way back into this one. Wrestlers win the draw. Behind his own end, he slides it over to Berg. He goes cross ice. To Ackroyd, who tried to leave it there for Fister. He'll just put it in behind the net. Now the wrestlers with a long shot from the point. Fister almost got a deflection on that. And Wainwright able to keep it in the zone. See if they can apply some pressure here and force a mistake. Ackroyd on the four check. And the Chiefs are able to clear the zone. So Makai gets a hold of the puck. Fister and Ackroy both leaping to try and knock that one down out of the air, but it ends up going all the way down the ice. Ackroy with a nice little hit there before he goes for a change. Saratsky nearly picks the man's pocket and forces a turnover. Liska with a nice hit. These wrestlers are playing physical here in this one. Now Saratsky in the neutral zone. We're going to get a penalty here. Looks like Lishka is going to go to the box. See if I can see what happened on my trusty instant replay here. They're going to get Lishka for a late hit on that one. Rustlers go on the penalty kill once again. Chiefs are one for two on the power play tonight. Mm -hmm. 
Chiefs working it across the blue line. Eventually down low into the corner. The wrestlers knock it loose. Cleared all the way down the ice. Fort Sass comes out from behind their own net. But they turn it over. It came just outside the blue line. Fister didn't see his teammate offside, and he carries it into the zone. So we're going to get a whistle here. Chiefs win the draw, but Fister turns it over, forces a turnover. Russell's going to get a scoring opportunity out of it, but killed a few seconds off the penalty. Now the Chiefs working it across the blue line. On the left wing now. Back up top. Hard shot from the point. Watt makes the save. Puck ends up behind the net. Good hit by Fister there. To knock the puck carrier, or knock the puck loose. Chiefs are able to get it back up to the point again. Off to the left wing, he steps in the slot, then goes with a cross ice pass. Watt with a good save. Rebound goes down in the corner. Wainwright's able to clear the zone. 35 seconds left in the Lishka penalty. with five minutes remaining in the second period. Chiefs put a quick shot towards the net, but it goes wide. Now battle along the boards. Wainwright's able to come away with it. Mullet clears the zone. Chiefs quickly enter the zone, put a hard shot right along the ice on Watt. He makes the save. Now to the high slot. One-timer goes wide. Marchand picks it up there and tries to flick it out of the zone. Can't get it all the way down the ice. Suretsky takes his time. Gets it over to McCloskey. He's got Lishka with him as he just stepped out of the box. McCluskey puts a sharp angle shot on that, and the wrestlers score! McCluskey carried it into the zone himself, took his time, slowly stepping up towards the net, put a sharp angle shot on that, and the rebound comes right out to Ouellette, who had pinched, and he puts it right through the five hole, and all of a sudden, the wrestlers are in this hockey game. Wainwright wins the draw here. But they ice the puck and it's going to come all the way back down. Fister in for the draw. He wins it back into the corner. We let all the way around the boards to Hamilton. He centers it back to Fister. He's got Woodward with him on the left wing. He gets it back to Fister, but he can't handle the pass. It ends up in his feet. And now the wrestler is behind the net. They get it out to Woodward. Now down in the corner once again to Fister. Woodward keeps it in the corner. We're battling for it there. Two wrestlers, two chiefs. It finally comes loose. Woodward almost gets a stick on it, but the chiefs come away with it. Fister's tied up with a man down here in the corner. They finally come loose. Chiefs with a hard shot. It rings off the post. And now in behind the net, it's Berg along the boards. He's got Fister with him. Now puck comes up to the point. Chiefs lose the handle on it, and the wrestlers come the other way. Hamilton can't receive the pass cleanly. He'll go for a quick change, get some fresh legs out. Now Ouellette with a great job getting in the way of the stretch pass there, breaking things up. Now Mullet enters the zone. He's all alone, though. 
not all alone. There's two defenders there, but he had no help from his teammates. He kicks it off into the corner. Fletcher's going to chase it down. He might be the first one there, but he's not. And the Chiefs able to clear it all the way down the ice. Bird behind his own net. Plays it up to Mullet. He looks for a through pass to Fletcher. He chases it down and pins man against the boards to wait for his teammates to come help. Dicker's in there now, too. And that puck is stationary, as are all four players in the corner. So Lineman's going to blow it dead. Two minutes, two seconds left in the second period. Wrestlers have got themselves back into this one. It's four to two. They lose the draw on the offensive end here. Now the Chiefs carried across the blue line down the left wing. Carried in behind the net. Goslin stands up the puck carrier, though, and he forces a turnover. He carries it out from behind his own net, tries to get it up to leg it, but there's a defender there. Now the Chiefs at the point. Long shot is blocked by Goslin. The wrestler has cleared the zone, but the clearing attempt lands right on the net, so there's no icing call. He's going to cover that one up for a faceoff. Minute 24, and the wrestlers have an offensive faceoff. So, a minute 24 remaining, I should say. They got an offensive zone faceoff here, looking to make something happen in the final minutes. They win the draw. Berg takes a hard shot. It's directed into the corner by the goaltender, Storms. Buck in the corner now. Chiefs do come away with it. They just flip it into the neutral zone, and Josh Berg's there to pick it up. And we're going to get a tripping call here, an unfortunate penalty. Zulet's going to go to the box two minutes for tripping just as the wrestlers are starting to gain some momentum. Chiefs win the draw. We work along the boards. Now down to the corner. We go the cross ice pass and Watt with a great save there. Chiefs win the draw again. They work it down low and behind the net. Mackay's there, and he's going to try and clear it all the way around the boards. He does. And we'll see if Hamilton can get a step here. So the puck comes all the way down deep into Chiefs territory. Hamilton had a step on the back checker. He couldn't get a hold of the puck. Chiefs come all the way down to the other end. They ring it around the boards. Now down into the corner. Ten seconds to go in this period. Watt with a good blocker save there. The wrestlers put it off the glass. Can't quite get it out of the zone, but we've got one second to go, and that's going to be the buzzer. Good period for the wrestlers as they were down 4 nothing coming into this one. It's now 4-2. to two. And they're starting to claw their way back into this game. They're going to be coming back to the third period shorthanded, though, as there's 54 seconds remaining in the Ouellette tripping penalty. But they're going to go rest up, talk some strategy, and come back out. Guns are blazing in the third period. And we'll be back with you then in about 15 minutes.
Welcome back for the start of the third period. Thanks for joining us once again. We're here for Saskatchewan. Wrestlers' third game of the Provincial Championships. They trail 4-2 going into the third period, but they were trailing 4-0 going into the second period. They fought their way back in. Got it to within two, but they're starting this period shorthanded. There's 54 seconds remaining on the Brian Ouellette tripping penalty. Your penalty killers to start the period are going to be Saratsky, Hamilton, Goslin, and Josh Berg. As the Chiefs win the draw, but it goes all the way down the ice, and they're going to hang out behind their net for a second, set something up. They come down the left wing and enter the zone. Slam on the brakes and turn around in the corner. Get the puck up towards the point. Hamilton, great job getting his stick in front of the shot. And stop again, but a good pass right to the top of the crease. And the Chiefs are able to direct one pass walk. And make this one a 5-2 hockey game. Chiefs scored just 25 seconds into this third period. But we're back to full strength hockey now. Dicker with a crafty move in his own end to avoid a four checker. The wrestlers can't enter the zone. They got to regroup in their own end. Chiefs work it out the boards. They escape their own end and now come flying into the wrestler's zone. But they lose control of the puck and Mackay picks it up. Comes skating down the left side. They'll reach the red line and dump it in low. Chiefs back and forth behind their net. Or they work it out across the blue line. That breakout doesn't work, and they got to try again. Puck tipped in deep on the stretch pass. Goslin's there to get it in his own his own end. Plusky flips it just over the blue line. And the Chiefs have to tag up. Now Goslin along the boards. Woodward's with him. The Chiefs are able to get it up to the point. Now down to the left corner. Centering pass, it's deflected. And Marchand's able to clear it away from the net, but not out of the zone. Goslin picks it up behind his net. Swings it back around for Marchand. And he'll reach center ice and just dump it. And go for a change with the rest of his teammates here. Chiefs come flying on the left wing. They put the puck right out in front of the net. Nobody can get a stick on it. And it comes out to center ice. Berg plays it off the boards, but it sneaks right past everybody and all the way down for an icing call. Fister comes in and wins the draw. Bird swings it around behind the net. Ackroyd just tips it up to Fister there, but his pass is intercepted. Fister with a nifty play off the boards to Ackroyd, and he comes down the right wing with a little bit of speed. Puts a shot on net, saved with the blocker, but the rebound comes out to the point. The guy didn't have a shooting lane, so he put it into the corner. Now the wrestlers try to swing it around behind the net, but it caught the referee's skate. Ackroyd just tosses one towards the net. 
it hits somebody's leg and ends up on a Fort Sask stick. They got an opportunity here. Good save by Watt. Now Suretsky turns it over. He comes flying into the zone, slams in the brakes, looking for a teammate. He's got McCluskey on the other side, but the pass is out of his reach. He sends it in behind the net. Suretsky's going to find it there. Rustlers can't find any opportunities out of that. The Chiefs come back. A good stick work by Marchand to knock that puck loose. And eventually finds... Fletcher, who's coming down the left wing, chips it up ice a little bit, tries to pick up the bouncing puck, but can't. Now the Chiefs send it to an open wing. The shot attempt was picked up by Gosling, but he fanned on the pass. Tips it up on the boards to himself. Eventually finds Dicker. He's coming in. He loves to shoot from over here, but he holds on to it this time, and he gets hit. Mullet in the corner now. There's a little battle for it there. The wrestlers put a quick backhand shot towards the net. It's steered wide. Now line changes for both teams happening now as the pace slows down for a second. It's going to be a hand pass, but Fort Sass touches the puck first. And now the wrestlers force a turnover. Saretsky coming in. His low shot is saved. And the Chiefs able to clear it on the rebound. Saretsky now in the neutral zone. He swings back, finds Casey Berg. Carries across the blue line and leaves it there for Leggett. Or sorry, Hamilton. But the Chiefs able to clear the zone once again. Morgan McKay now in the corner in his own zone. Leaves it there for Fister. He flips it up off the glass. Hamilton can't corral it. Now Mackay, after a bunch of turnovers back and forth, finds it. He gets it to Fister. Fister tries to split the D. Didn't have that one extra step he needed to get through. Chiefs are able to corral it, put it off the glass, and out to center ice. Hard shot saved with the blocker by Watt. Goslin picks up the rebound. Looking for some teammates, but he might skate it all the way himself. He does just that. Carries it in. Puts it towards the net. And that one's covered up for a face-off. we got a little rough stuff behind the net with Ackroyd and a defenseman. They go to the ice together. We'll see if anything comes of this penalty-wise. Looks like it's going to be Quinn Stata Miners for the two. A couple of roughing calls. We'll stay at five on five hockey as we got exactly 13 minutes left in this third period. Wrestlers trail by three. Chiefs win the draw. Play it out from the corner, but the wrestlers force a turnover. Now the puck comes out in front to McCluskey. Couldn't get it to his forehand, and it gets knocked off a stick. Roulette turns it over just outside the blue line. Chiefs work in behind the net. Now back up to the point. Long shots tipped wide, and the rebound comes out to Suretsky. Comes down the right wing. He leaves it there for Lishka. Gets caught up in his feet for a minute. 
But now McCluskey picks it up. He sends it up to the point to Makai. Tries to just put it down low, but that was blocked. And the Chiefs come the other way. And they put one right through the five hole. Dolan Watt to regain their four goal advantage that they had in the first period. Chiefs win the draw. Fletcher on the four check now. He throws a hit right in front of the wrestler's bench. Chiefs tried to put a shot on net, but Snicks, the stick snapped right in half and it fluttered towards the goal. Watt covers it up. <laughs> Fletcher in for the draw. He's out there with Mullet and Dicker. Chiefs win the draw and send a shot from the point, but it ends up in a pile of bodies. Now Marchand has it behind the net. We got a penalty upcoming to the wrestlers. Looks like it's going to be time mullet. I'm going to guess it's going to be roughing. Chiefs with an empty net for the extra man. The wrestlers are eventually going to touch the puck. Number seven is going to go to the penalty box. Hamilton, Saretsky, Ulett, and Josh Berg out there to kill this penalty. Berg is able to clear the zone. Didn't get all the way down the ice, though, as the Chiefs knocked it out of midair. But they have to come all the way back into their own end anyway. Chiefs cross the blue line, look to set up their power play. They send it in behind the net. Berg's going to get there first. But he can't get it out of the zone, but Fister does that. We're halfway through the third period now. Also halfway through the penalty kill for the wrestlers. Chiefs have it in the offensive zone now trying to find a shooting lane. But Fister forces a turnover right along the boards. And gets it all the way down to the far blue line. Quick response from the Chiefs though as they come flying through the offensive zone. They work across the blue line here to the right side. Hard pass right to the back post. Missed everybody. Now at the top of the point. Down on the right wing as Casey Bird converges. Applies the pressure. Bird's able to get a stick on it. And he's going to clear it all the way down the ice. Chiefs have a cherry picker down here calling for the pass. The wrestlers just get their line change in in time. Saretsky. Forces a turnover at the wrestler's blue line. Sends it all the way down. And just like that, time malts out of the box. We got five on five hockey once again.
Saratsky fires it all the way down the ice, but that's a quick icing call. Lot with a good save, can't control the rebound, but it ends up right in front of Gosman, so he picks it up. Plays it in behind the net to Marchand. He can't handle the pass, though, as it came off the boards hot. And Watt with a great save, kicking out the right pad on a shot from Point Blank Range. Chiefs still with possession, though. Gosman nearly picks it up, picks it off, but can't handle it. Now down in the corner, Lishka and McCluskey battling for it. Gosling comes in to help, and Lishka comes away with it. He puts it off the boards, but that doesn't get out of the zone. But thankfully, it comes right back to him, and he's able to clear it. Berg picks it up in the neutral zone, fires a hard shot right into the glove of the goaltender. He'll hold on, as we've got a little less than eight minutes to go in this one. Chiefs win the draw again. But Leggett comes in and tries throwing a big hit, but just missed it. Fister turn, forces a turnover in the neutral zone. Him and Ackroyd going deep. Leggett's in there as well. Chiefs come away with it out of the scrum. But an icing call on. Or Saskatchewan. Bring it all the way down the ice. Fister in for the draw once again. This time he wins it. The wrestlers work it down deep. But uh, Chiefs gain possession. Fister gets in the way of the passing lane there. Now tries to pick it up along the boards. And he's got it in the neutral zone. He's got Hamilton on his right. He sends in the, pop, the puck. It gets poked away into the corner. There's a battle down in the corner there. We got whistles blowing. We got some drama in front of the net. Looks like it's Fister. Getting in a little mix-up. Rustlers win this draw. Kai sends it all the way down into the corner. Berg can't hold it at the blue line, so Makai's got to hustle back and retrieve that puck. Leaves it there for Berg, who just plays it off the boards. Muskie eventually comes away with it, sends it across the ice to Makai. He goes with a cross-ice pass to Hamilton, is just behind him. So Hamilton's got to go on the forecheck. Now Woodward picks up a loose puck. He leaves it there for McCluskey. He tries to tuck it in just around the goaltender, but can't bury it. Now he's battling in the corner. Puck comes in behind the net. And she's going to be able to clear the zone again. They cut right to the middle of the ice. Put a hard shot right into the chest of Watt. And he holds on no problem. Six eleven to go in tonight's game. 
Hustler still trails 6 2 to the Chiefs. Make it 7 2. Fletcher comes in and wins the draw. The wrestlers go D to D here. Then a hard, uh, looked like a hard pass, but it was actually deflected and just fluttered there. Goslin regains possession, though, sends it to Mullet. He fans in the pass, but it still finds Fletcher. The wrestlers have to back up just a bit to avoid going offside. And they dump it in. Mullet gets it along the boards, sends it to Dicker. He tries to make a move and it gets knocked off his stick. Berg doing a good job standing up the puck carrier at the blue line and getting the puck over to Mullet, who does a nice little toe drag to step around the defender, but his shot is stopped. Now Ouellette waits for his teammates to get on side. Carries it across the blue line and gets it down low. Zaretsky now picks it up along the board. Sends it right to the front of the net. McCluskey can't get a tip on it. And Chiefs able to just flip it up in the air. And alleviate some pressure. But the wrestler has quickly come back the other way. They put a long shot on net. Goaltender leaves it there for his defenseman. He cleared out of the zone. Makai picks it up there. Now they enter the zone. They've got Suretsky with the puck on his stick. As they try to hold the blue line here, and they can't. So they just have to dump it and go for a line change. Chiefs were able to dump it in and keep applying pressure here. They send a tic-tac-toe play with the forward standing right in the back post waiting for the final pass, but it bounced over a stick. Watt was able to jump on it and cover that one for a face-off. Four minutes left. Chiefs won the draw, and the wrestlers struggle to get it out of the zone. They finally do, though. Fletcher's got it through center ice. Now Leggett has it. He loses an edge. Tries to get it low, but it's not deep enough. The Chiefs dump it in. It lands right on net. A lot bobbled it for fraction of a second there, but he holds on. Sereski wins the draw. He picks it up himself. Shovels it over to Goslin. He slams on the brakes and sends a long pass to Hamilton on the left wing. He drops it for Suretsky. Sends it back down low to Hamilton, but he can't control that one. And the Chiefs able to get it out of danger. Suretsky hard in the forecheck, trying to force a turnover. The puck comes right in the slot. Hard shot right on net by Hamilton. But the save is made and the rebound cleared. Offside there on the wrestlers as we're down to 2.51 left in the game.
keeps from the draw. And you send it down low. And you keep cycling it around the offensive zone. Shots tipped, but it took all the mustard off it, and it trickled towards Watt, and he covers that one up. You swing the draw again. Long shots blocked by Leggett. And then Leggett comes back with a big hit along the boards. Broke his stick in the process. Berg picks up the puck in his own end. Sends it to Lishka. He goes right through the middle of the ice. Puts a hard shot on net. That one's held on to. Wrestlers win the draw, but Fort Sass quickly forces a turnover. Now the wrestlers force a turnover of their own. McCluskey coming in on the left wing, tries to sidestep the defender, but he gets muscled out of the way. Now the Chiefs enter the zone. They got an opportunity here, and that shot is blocked by Mackay. Berg will swoop in behind his own net, played up the boards to Fletcher. She's trying to dump it, but Mackay knocks it down out of midair. Over to Berg now. He comes up the left wing, sends a hard pass over to Dicker. Dicker steps into the center in the middle of the ice. Fired a shot just wide. Fletcher's sharp angle shot was steered away without trouble. We're in the final minute here now. It's going to be a winless round robin for the wrestlers, but they played three very tough teams this weekend. They had an, some admirable efforts, both individually and as a team, especially on Thursday when they played the Camaros Crush. Ended up losing 11-7, but it was a wild game. Had the lead multiple times. They're going to have a chance to get some revenge tomorrow when they take on the Camaros Crush in the bronze medal game at 11 a.m. It's an early one. 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. Wainwright and Camaros battle it out for the bronze as Camaros went one and two in the round robin. And with 4.4 seconds left to 7-2 hockey game, this one's over. A good effort from the wrestlers. They had a strong second period. Just unfortunate to start the third. Down a man. And Fort Sass quickly made them pay and took over the rest of the third period. So that's it for tonight. The wrestlers go 0-3 in the round robin. The Chiefs go 3-0 and in the round robin on home ice. So we'll be back with you tomorrow at 11 a.m. for the bronze medal game. Be sure to pour yourself a coffee and Bailey's and join us for that one. We'll be here bringing you all the action as we wrap up the weekend tomorrow. Once again, I'm Zach McLaughlin. Josh Copeland doing great job on the camera work. Thanks for having us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hello, Zach. Good stuff. You're welcome. One more, buddy, for the...